Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. Today we're starting chapter 4 of the DLC. I mean, it's chapter 2 of the consequence, but as the part of the DLC as a whole, it's considered chapter 4. Let's just go ahead and start it. So yeah, last time we finally beat Shade and we ran from the Mobius director again and... You know, at this point, Kitman, she's just thinking like, hey, you know what? I have to kill Leslie so that, you know, he can't be used by Ruvik or the Mobius people. Yeah, that's essentially it. Well, I mean, granted, like, she feels that bringing Leslie back would cause Ruvik to get out, and she can't allow that to happen, though, I mean, you know, why not just... Try to stop Ruvik? You don't have to kill Leslie? But, uh, well, whatever. Something's happening. Can you discern between evil and good? <laughs> oh yeah, the apocalypse. I remember this. And there goes the gun. It was fun while it lasted. Also, we're, we're just going to skip over the bus ride. I mean... Well, okay. A ghost is born. And we are weaponless again. Oh, joy. Yeah, yeah whatever. Building's rumbling. Do -do -do. Guess I want to go over here. Looking everywhere so I don't miss stuff. Okay, I guess I can't answer the phone. Just walk through the fire like it was nobody's business. Okay. I will not be kept here. Yeah, you will. We beat the main game. Oh wait, no, actually you did make it out. Never mind, never mind. Just looking. Okay, fine. She said burn through it. This is how I burn things. I shine a flashlight on them. Or you could just do that. Conveniently placed torch. Delayed response to being set on fire. Okay. Just checking every nook and cranny. Well, yeah, we're going to help you all right with a bullet. That's the best kind of help there is. And the vending machine can no longer help me. Aww. Okay, I guess there's nothing over here. See, I'm paranoid now. I don't want to miss stuff. I hope I didn't miss anything in the previous chapter because I do not want to deal with that shade fight again. Well, aren't you lucky? Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. At least they're all right. Please, just stay out of my way. Okay, is she doing the stanky leg or something? I mean, okay, yeah, jump down. Wow, wasn't that hard? Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is an elevator shaft, all right. Shaft. Can you dig it? All right. Yeah, I'm kind of out of it right now. <laughs> Sorry. I've been up for a minute, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just not 
in the right state of mind at the moment, if that makes sense. I kind of stressed myself out prior to recording this, just thinking, oh yeah, I do have a lot of very difficult school work that's due like at a later date, but still, the fact is that I have all this time to work on it, and yet I have no clue on where to start, but whatever. After surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister. His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. So, that was his sister. But as Jimenez sort of hinted at, it might have been a little, like his, his affection for her might have been a little incestuous, which is highly disturbing. Here we go, that's my flashlight. Okay, oh, let me just check just to make sure. Wrong button I'm pressing. Okay, those were from the first campaign. Crap, I missed one. God damn it. I don't want to go back through this chapter to Shay. Oh, wait, no, I can just get up to wherever that uh, one entry was then, I guess. Because, yeah, I figure, you know what? I might as well just go back and just show the things I missed. Although I don't have to worry about this entry. We had it. It's just that I didn't go back to get it when I had to retry that section. So, yeah. Or whatever. Kick that door down. Okay. But yeah, the only reason I'm going back to get the collectibles in this is because it's short enough. I mean, these chapters, they're getting done in like four videos, each at about like half an hour long, so... A chapter is only about two hours, and that was me running around blindly, so going back through, knowing what I have to do, and only stopping when I get to the things I didn't collect, that shouldn't take me too much time. Although that'll be like a bonus video and not actually part of uh, this. Like it, It'll come up... The, the video where I'm collecting the things I missed is probably going to be about 10 minutes, and it'll be, you know, like maybe a week or so after this wraps up because I want to be able to move on to something else too I kind of promised like a whole bunch of other videos to be going up so yeah well let's just follow the blood through this door I mean you know what could possibly go wrong Oh, okay, I guess I have to be stealthy. That zombie's on my trail, though, so I kind of screwed up. And I also forgot that I no longer have a gun. Okay, yeah, I'm not... You don't see me. Turn back around. You see nothing. He saw me, damn it. And that was the best hiding place. Nope. Okay, we're gonna brute force this. Even though I'm like 90% sure this is a horrible idea. Um. Ah, crap. Can I just melee you to death, or do I actually just have to sneak around you? Y 
Yeah, just stand still and heal. It's all you're good for, Kidman. Uh, I'm not in a stealth mood right now. No, you don't need to come over here. You don't need to come over here. That's fine. Just 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 turn around. Okay. I will actually try this thing known as stealth. We'll see how that works out for me. You son of a bitch. Okay. I'm just gonna use this chance to scope out what needs to be done. Yeah, this won't backfire on me. Because <laughs> I have a feeling I need to burn down the painting. But I don't know where a torch is. I got a bottle. I can use this to my advantage. First things first, I'm going to lose the zombie trail. They didn't see me come in here. Did they actually see me come in here? Because my plan is to wait for them to turn around, throw a bottle in here, and then do what I need to do. You son of a bitch! Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so I figured out that walking on those... He fucking saw me. God damn it! Well, I, I figured that walking on those broken dishes makes noise and... Yeah, then they run after you and you're dead and all that shit. Um, let's see if this will work. Nope. Okay, well, screw you too. Um, but yeah, I also saw that axe right there. I swear, if this actually works. You have seriously got to be shitting me. This works. Me just hiding right here. Okay. Well, I have an axe. I'm gonna kill one of them. I wish this camera was better. Let me make sure there's no broken dishes around here. There's There's some right there. And there we go. He is my vessel. I am in control. Now I just have to hope that the other one won't be alerted to my position. I am not in stealth mode right now. I am so sorry, folks. Oh, you can hear me walk on broken dishes, but you can't hear the painting screaming out in pain? Okay, zombie. I'm still crouching just because. Yeah, you can stop them with fire. You can stop many things with fire. Oh, yeah, bottles. Ooh, what's a bottle gonna do? Not a damn thing. Freaking bottles. Leading me astray.
Okay. Let's put that flashlight back on so I can freaking see. Mm-hmm, yep, earthquake. Okay, whatever, whatever. Oh, wait. Leslie! Leslie, where are you? Okay, this might be a special path then? Maybe? Okay, wait, we have a two. We have a two. I guess that's all they want me to know. Two. Okay then, fair enough, fair enough. No, it's just a two. Well, I can remember that. I can remember a digit. Safe. What? Is there something else I'm missing? Oh, okay. Yellow 21. Red 2. So is there another number somewhere? It has to be. Well, I'm not seeing it. What? No. Where is this freaking number at? Well, I have red on two already. So yellow 21. I could just brute force the blue open, but hey, I have standards. Very thin standards. I'm just gonna brute force this until it opens. Okay. I don't feel like searching for wherever this blue one is. Huh. Okay. One, two, what? Let me make sure. Okay, zero. One, two, three, four, five? Is zero off center? Okay, zero. One, two. There we go. Brute force for the freaking win. Well, it wasn't really brute force. I mean, hey, I had two out of three. Where is the blue one, though? I mean, where? I'm looking for a blue nine. A blue nine. Ceiling. Seriously, where, where would it have shown up? I don't even know why I'm still looking. I got the letter scrap. It's all that matters. And yeah, I'm getting on out of here. Whatever. I solved it. <laughs> or maybe that was the solution. Figure out two and then brute force the last one. I don't know. Jump down. Stop being a little baby. Oh, it's a five-foot drop. Whatever shall I do? Also, camera's not cooperating, but, um... Trying to see. It appears she is still wearing heels. And yet the heels on them have not bust yet. That is quite amazing. Whoever made these shoes... Like, they, they are some really good shoemakers, I tell you what. Okay.
Okay, it looks like that leads down to where I want to go, so I will go down here first. There is absolutely not a darn thing down this way. Okay, fair enough. Up, oh, black cat. Looks like we're about to save. Yeah, you know, it's just a couch that's placed right here in the middle of the freaking collapsing building. Nothing's off about this. Nothing that I don't want to save just yet. Freaking Kidman, you better get up, kick that cat out of your lap. No, I don't I don't care. Get get up. Idiot. I'm I'm in a really bad mood right now for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Listen to it. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Ruben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seem sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? There's only one way to find out for certain, but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know. Lest they take this from me as well. But, alas, they found out because Jimenez is not good at keeping things under wraps. Just making sure... Did that retroactively fill? Oh, no, no, but I still missed one. Damn it! Okay, well, whatever. Now let's save. Get in my lap, cat. Fulfill your duty.